the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is with us by His grace and mercy, always now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ God, send down thy Holy Spirit of blessing and high upon the food and drink of thy servant, and do not deprive them thy food at thy banquet. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. May God's holy saints and angels minister to us all in all of our temporal needs and eternal needs. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May God, our Father in heaven, through his Son, Jesus Christ, bless all the cats, the dogs, the animals, and all the pets, and all the wildlife, and all God's creatures. And may he send down his Holy Spirit upon them and comfort them, and save and protect them. May he bless those who care for them. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, this is our commander, Father Mikael, Exodus Priest of the Eastern Orthodox Church. I am having a sesame seed bagel toasted with some butter. It's actually been sitting out here a little while, so it's uh, started to get a little cold. Um, temperature's been definitely uh, dropping, so last night it was really nice. It was in the 50s, and to me that was perfect sleeping weather. Um, I've slept in zero degrees weather outside in a sleeping bag, not in a tent. Um, I have a zero degree down uh, North Face bag, it's a synthetic. Plan on getting a better sleeping bag this year um, because I sleep outside. I don't have um, I don't have a building that I sleep in. What a beautiful raven! Yeah, you can tell the ravens from the crows. Ravens have a curved beak to them. They're much bigger, twice the size of a crow. And um, and their caw is not like a crow is, caw, caw, where the raven is more like a raw, raw. Yeah, well, you can check that out on YouTube. Um, and they have this beautiful, unique way they fly. You know, they, they soar. Yeah, ravens kind of flap their wings to get up where they're going. Then they kind of glide through the air a little bit and then flap their wings and then glide where a crow just continuously. And if you look at a crow, when it's uh, going caw, caw, its head is going up and down. Caw, caw. Where a raven is more just steady. Raw, raw, raw. So I see them around sometimes. They're kind of mixed with the crows, um, but it's really enjoyable to see them. Crows and ravens, they never forget you. Once they kind of get to know you, they know who you are. Every time when I come up in this area, they come out of the, uh, the areas where I go hiking and stuff. And um, now that they're seeing me, they circle around me a lot. And um, I'm gonna have to start bringing them some food to eat. <laughs> yeah, that's, they're, they're really a special uh, species of bird. I really like the ravens a lot. Um, ravens and where else? I like the ravens. Um, and I love wolves. Wolves are a beautiful creature. Very majestic. I started adding some. I go to the herb store and I pick up some cardamom cardamom powder. It's a spice. Go to an herb store, ask them if they have cardamom, and just mix it with your coffee. It's really good for your digestive system and also for your respiratory and adds a very unique spicy flavor to your coffee, which I really like. Now I use it all the time. I've been studying herbs for a little over about five years. Well, no, actually, no. It's been about 10 years. Because I remember I was in another place long before, and I was reading up on them. Yeah, about 10 years. You learn quite a bit in natural medicine. Very important to learn the plant life.
plant life. All the vegetation and the green. The various types of vegetables and herbs. You need that in your diet. It has healing properties for your immune system, for your for your whole body, your blood, your liver, your kidneys. Really good, really good stuff. But you gotta know how much to take. And that's where you gotta study. What is, what is too much? And you gotta know what your body might be allergic to, stay away from, and start off small. Start off small, you'll know right away. My favorite is the sesame seed bagel, toasted with cream cheese or with butter. Um, sesame seed bagel, really good stuff. Goes perfect with a cup of coffee. On the coffees, I like the light roast. It has more caffeine in it and uh, really gets you up and going in the morning. But if I have too much of it, you start like going to the restroom a lot. So, me, usually one cup, two cups in the morning, bagel and cream cheese. Sometimes I have some oatmeal, the old fashioned oatmeal. They got the larger oats and I don't cook them all the way. I like them where they're still on the raw side. Put just a little bit of sugar, a little butter or some honey, and some, just a very small amount of cinnamon. And eat that with a banana. A lot of times I'll just slice up the banana really super thin and put the banana right in there. Oatmeal and banana. And a bagel and cream cheese. One or two cups of coffee about this size. Every morning. That's my routine. After I do exercise and prayers. First thing is get up in the morning, start the prayers. After prayers are done, then go do my little exercise that I do. After the exercise, then come out and get a bagel with uh, one or two cups of coffee and sometimes with oatmeal and a banana. I go visit the cats. Pray for the animals. See, that's a crow. <laughs> I can tell the crow. If you look at the tail of a crow, his back with his feathers, sort of flat. The ravens sort of go into a point. See how high pitched that crow is? That's a crow. I fly out into the forest around here. Little city. Surrounded in the hills, little forest hills. I need to start bringing these crows some food. They come out here, they fly around, they're looking on the ground and they're looking for food.
I gotta remember that early in the morning when I come up here. I'm gonna bring some bread for them and some bird seeds. Buy a bag of bird seeds. I'm gonna go in here right now and see how much uh, bird seed is. They sell everything in here. Yep. I saved this part of the bagel for last because I really like this particular part. Eat the bottom first and then the top. So good. What's really good is if you have like rice and put sesame seed oil all over it. A little salt and pepper. Oh, it's delicious. Sometimes a little soy sauce. But with butter, you get like that jasmine rice or that sticky rice, which sticky rice is my favorite. They're, it's kind of hard to find. And um, you cook a bowl of rice. And you could put some vegetables in it, like some green peas or green beans. Not the regular green beans, but like the ones that are still in the shell. Just a few on the top. Um, I've even made it with some spinach, which was really good. Um, yes. What I do... Saturate it with sesame seed oil. So good for you. Mm. Probably not so much the starch on the rice. You wouldn't want to have that all the time. Like these breads, a little starch. And put on weight, starch. One of my favorite things to do is get like a Tupperware bowl. Put about 10 cans of tuna in there. Albacore. And put some tuna and stuff with albacore in there. And cut up some celery. Cut up some parsley. Parsley gives it a really good flavor. Rinse out the parsley, chop it up, put it all in there, the tuna, good amount of parsley. And mix all that up and um, squeeze some lemons or some limes over it. Of course, you don't put no salt on any seafood fish, salty enough. And um, I like to have that a couple times a week. Large amount of tuna. Always get your cholesterol checked out. See what you gotta work on. You can really lower your cholesterol pretty fast by simple change of your diet. I love living in the mountains. When you're way up in the forest, the better. You find some towns that are way, way up in the forest. 
You get to know everybody there. I do good. I love people. Do go out of your way to do things for people. They recognize that real fast. Even little things. And then God blesses you and takes care of you. I'll be making another video after this. I'm gonna do the supplicatory canon to uh, the mother of God. I love those two. Supplicatory canon to the Lord Jesus Christ and supplicatory canon to the Theotokos, the sweetest mother of God. So stay tuned for those videos and uh, and pray with me as I pray those prayers of our Holy Orthodox Catholic and Apostolic Church. May God be with us and save us. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, may he grant to us the forgiveness of all of our sins, and may he bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Through the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ and the prayers of all God's saints and all his holy angels, especially those holy saints on the old calendar of Orthodoxy. Lord Jesus Christ, give the blessing. Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Always kiss twice because Judas kissed once. Amen. <laughs>